Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Look at the corner. It's McDavid. Beat him in. Shoots and scores. He's done it again. Coast to coast. They try to get back in the game. Look at that. Boom. Tavares in front. Score. Had it with Kelly. Went right over to him. Fine. Jack, I, I had no idea. This, this is the guy they call Wi-Fi. What do you think about the ideal NHL game? What do you think of? I think about goals, big hits, fighting, desperation saves. And my God, do I have some stats for you. Because this season, we have witnessed a collimation of everything that makes NHL hockey so great. To start, NHL scoring the past decade has been exponentially increasing. And this season is no different. As not only has Connor McDavid put up a mind-blowing 15 goals, 31 points in 15 games. This man is on pace for 169 points. A stat total that hasn't been touched since Wayne Gretzky in 1989. Meaning, if McDavid does stay on pace, he will be putting up scoring numbers we haven't seen in over 30 years. And not only that, McDavid is also currently on pace for 82 goals. Now, he probably won't get there, but if we look historically at the last player who eclipsed a goal per game, we would have to go all the way back to 1989, where Mario Lemieux would put up 86 goals. And not only are the big dogs putting up massive numbers, but the league has also seen growth in the average goal scored per game. As this season, we have seen six goals scored per game, a total that hasn't been achieved since 1995. In a year where Mario Lemieux would put up 161 points. And do you know who else is on pace for putting up 160 points? Yes, that's right this guy. But what is even more bizarre is the fact that last season we would see Igor Shesterkin have one of the best single seasons by a goalie in NHL history as he would finish the season with an impressive 935 save percentage which led him to claiming his first of many Veznas. And so far this season, Connor Halbuck is on pace to surpass Shesterkin's totals last year with a 938 save percentage. Will he pass it? Probably not. Here's the settle into it. Oh, Halbuck misplayed it, and it nearly cost him. What a second chance that. But the fact that we have been seeing goal scoring highs coincide with goalie save percentage highs, that is absolutely bizarre. As it highlights how the NHL has seen a recent injection of generational talent on top of the fact that we also have some of the highest touted prospects in NHL history in Mitchkov, Bedard, Fantilli on the way. Hard to bring him up for Regina, one on two, step by the defenseman to the net, the deke and he scores! Oh my! What is incredible about this is the fact that we have been slowly but surely also witnessing the reemergence of old school hockey, baby. As not only is goal scoring reaching 30 year highs, but so too is physicality. Because in a year where we had to witness bubble hockey, newly formatted divisions, where fighting was bound to increase because teams were facing off against each other way more often, many thought this would cause an outlier season. But no, so far this season, we've witnessed fights on average in 28% of games, which is a 3% bump from last season and a 12% increase from 2019, which may not seem like a lot. But considering that we have been witnessing constant decline, a 12% increase in a couple year span is massive. But it doesn't stop there, as we have also been witnessing an increase in physical play. As this season, we have been seeing approximately 24 hits per game on average. Whereas in 2016, we saw on average 19 hits per game. Meaning, we are now seeing 26% more hits on a game to game basis. And as someone who watches a lot of hockey, I had a hunch as we are seeing more players finish their checks, making sure the other team knows that they have to endure a hard hit if they want to make a play. Which brings me to my next stat. Because one of my favorite players in today's game is without a doubt, Brady Kachuk. As Brady is a modern example of an ancient relic of the past. Pass across. Because what is fascinating about Brady, this man last season was a top 5 hitter in the league as he would finish the season with 270 hits, which is only 9 hits behind the mutant himself, 
Ryan Reeves. But do you know what separates Brady Kachuk from any other player on that list? He would finish last season with 30 goals, 67 points. Not to mention this season, he's on pace for 111 points. Which don't get me wrong, I highly doubt he will achieve that. But do you know the last player who finished among the top hitters and scored north of 30 goals, 70 points? That was 20 years ago, back in 2001, where Jeff O'Neill, yep, the TV guy, would finish the season, 263 hits, 41 goals. But the thing is, Jeff O'Neill 20 years ago was was a rare player. Therefore, in the current game, a player like Brady Kachuk is an extremely rare gem, as we have also been witnessing players like Tanner Janot, Moss and Kraus take on this role. Now on the flip side, all this physicality has resulted in an uptick in penalties, as we are currently sitting at approximately 4.2 penalties per game, whereas in 2017, we would see 3.4 penalties given out per game. And therefore, more power plays will ultimately contribute to more goal scoring. But the point of this video is the fact that the NHL is changing. Now, I don't know if you watching this video right now think it's for the better, but the fact that the NHL is somehow in a place where we have seen a collimation of goaltending highs coinciding with scoring highs we haven't seen in decades will lead to the average viewer thinking that skill has taken over the game. But no, as we have also seen a major uptick in the major physical categories, being hits and fighting. And to me at least, this is a crazy time as we are entering the next era of amazing NHL hockey. The YouTube hockey community is growing. Shout out to Ek. This guy is revolutionizing hockey content and I love it. The NHL now being broadcasted on TNT with amazing personalities such as Paul, BizNasty, BizNet. Connor, Biz here. After a game like that, answer me. Do the boys get a post-game pop in the hot tub? Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no, question. do they get a post-game pop in the hot tub? <laughs> What's that? P.K. Subban has officially joined ESPN, which is only going to continue to grow the game more, which will lead to the salary cap increasing, therefore more competition, more talent. So the question is, are you excited? Also, when I was researching for Brady Kachuk clips, I stumbled across this gold Tim Stutzla celebration. Is this just not the most bizarre celebration? Like my man almost broke his back trying to do a Walmart World Junior celebration. And quick aside here, I haven't done this in a minute, but I just want to thank you guys for all of the amazing support. You guys have truly changed my life for the better, got me through some hard times, and now I can't believe it, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you could, press that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And also go check out the Hockey Cards channel, I've been having a lot of fun. I just got some monster polls in my last video, go check it out. And as always, thanks for watching.